The title is Feather Light, and uh, what I wrote about it is uh, the feather is a sign of connection to nature and the divine. Feather helps me lighten up even in the midst of despair. It shows me redemption, resilience, and a connection to something far greater than me. There is a magical and mystical element to Feather. It literally dropped into my world over the past two years. In my clay monotype with Sheen Collet, the Feather can be spiraling down or floating up. If it lands, it's safe on the ground. If it lifts up, it's ascended. Both are right. So technically, um, a clay monotype or monoprint, mono meaning one, printmaking is the big umbrella that it, that it falls under. I learned the technique from Mitch Lyons and you start with a leather hard slab of clay. So 18 by 24 leather hard slab of clay that you have to keep wet all the time. It's kind of like a sourdough, you know, bread thing. You always have to keep it active. You have to like keep it alive. And then I use Akua inks on top and I mix the inks that are powdered pigments. Uh, I mix them with water. And so it's just layer and layer and layer of different, different textures, different inks. Um, using different negative space templates, positive space templates, um, and I build up all the layers until, based on the, the composition and the design and, 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 and the color density, based on, on, on what it is, I never have a preconceived notion of what the image is going to be. I'm developing it in the moment, and that's part of the fun and the passion and the joy of being an artist and, and doing this kind of um, uh, 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 spontaneous contemporary art, contemporary printmaking. And then this literally was, excuse me, an actual feather that I did put down. Um, and then monoprint, monotype, meaning one, you have to keep this thing damp the whole time, you know, spraying water on it the whole time. And then when it's ready, the, um, the paper is called Tyvex, which is an acrylic paper. And so you have your leather hard, you know, slab of clay, you have all your inks on top that I've built up, all my designs, all my negative positive space, you know, the feather. Um, and then you put down the Tyvek, and then you use a brayer, you know, a roller, printmaking roller. I use a rolling pin um, initially to get everything down, and then a brayer. And then I also use um, the back of a wooden spoon to get into different areas. And then again, you have one chance. It's like mono print, mono type. And then you peel it off as you would. And and the piece the piece was fine, but it never felt done. And then the Chin Collet process in printmaking is traditionally it was um, a really really thin piece of Japanese rice paper that was laid on top of another print and, and put through a printing press, Chin Collet. And so. What I did was, in the spirit of kind of, and I made this before the show renewal, but it was like in the spirit of renewal, was um, the piece just didn't seem finished. So I cut out a piece from another monotype of mine. And I kept on wondering, you know, hmm, where, where, could, this, where could this go? And it was this exact, perfect completion of the spiral, and I said, now it's done. Now, 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 now the piece is complete. And so Sheen Collet is attaching another piece of paper to the print using a printmaking process. So hence, clay monotype Sheen Collet. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. What, what's the advantage of using clay base? rather than a metal or a plastic? Um, I've done lithography, I've done um, etchings, <clears throat> engravings, I, I've used all those techniques. For me, it was learning a brand new process, which was exciting to me, the, the clay monotype process, Mitch Lyons, uh, who, who 
developed it. He's a printmaker out of uh, Pennsylvania, sadly, sadly deceased now. But um, it was what made me use clay instead of metal or, or plastic was the spontaneousness of the act of creating the art. It just was so kind of earthy and gutsy and, and playful. It was different from, like when I do engravings, they're very, you know, incised into the metal and it's just totally a different kind of art than the possibilities that come with the clay monoclaves. And you, you feel that with a plastic surface, doing a monoprint, you'd get a different view? Completely different. It would be wonderful, but, but completely different. I mean, even plastic is man-made, so I wouldn't have to go in with my wooden spoon to fine tune the transfer, but since this is a leather hard slab of clay that I smushed into the frame, it's imperfect. And so I love that imperfection of it. So, so plastic would be fine, but it's a different feel. It has a very like painterly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And then you have to keep it wet. I mean, you have to keep it damp. I mean, yeah. 